Good Samaritan finally comes forward to get the credit he deserves. Yeah, Phoenix police say he saved a 73-year-old woman's life after she crashed her car. ABC 15's Katie Connor caught up with the Good Samaritan today as he was thanked by her grateful family. And Katie, first off, we want to know how she's doing. Well, thanks to that Good Samaritan, Joan, um, Joan Lang is actually recovering here at John C. Lincoln Hospital. Earlier today, she underwent surgery on her arm after her accident last week. Now, she wouldn't even be alive today if it wasn't for this young man who made a very heroic decision at a very critical time. Today, both parties finally got to meet. It seemed like a normal day of work for 19-year-old Lucas Robinson. But during his shift at Danny's car wash. And I had heard it happen, and that, to be honest, it wasn't a loud car accident for what it looked like. Instantly, Robinson dropped everything and ran towards the accident. One of the drivers, Joan Lang, was pinned underneath her car and her arm completely severed. I took my belt off as I was running to her, and I asked, ma'am, may I put a tourniquet around your arm to stop the bleeding? And she was adamant about, yes, yes, do it, do it. Lucas climbed into a small gap and held the tourniquet in place until police came. It felt like a lifetime. It felt like an hour, but um, it was, in reality, it was probably only... Um, between three and five minutes. When paramedics arrived, Lucas left the scene and went back to work. I didn't think that she survived. I, was, I had heard from word of mouth that she uh, had passed, and it, was, it just kind of crushed me. I mean, I, in the back of my head, I knew I did what I, I had to do, and I did everything I could. And then last night, I was uh, on Facebook, and I saw um, a, a link, and I was like, oh, my God, and just whew, weight lifted off my shoulders. But today, those two sides came back together. Leon is Joan's husband. Today, he finally got to think and meet the man who saved his wife's life. You just can't. So, you know, I, I'm not. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I'm going to. I have to thank him. And if he's joined the military, that's really great. And that's another fun twist to this story is Lucas is joining the Army this February and her husband, um, Leon, he was actually a colonel in the Army for 21 years. The two bonded immediately also over that. Meanwhile, Katie and Steve, when Joan gets out of the hospital, which hopefully will be later this week, she will meet Lucas in person and give him a huge hug and thank you. This, this has been a beautiful speculation of who this man was for the past 24 hours or so online. It's been really fun to read and really nice to see that reunion. Thank you.